Hi everyone, this is Rosa Kelly. I have some happy binder mail to share with you today, so let's take a look. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to share with you the completed um, happy binder mail that I made. Uh, I did do a process of me creating this binder. It was really fun, really easy to do, but basically it will be as a guide if you are trying to make one. I am using the Pink Passport collection here by the Paper Studio. This is something that came a year maybe two years ago and I had this forever I've used a lot I have two and I still have some more to use and I absolutely love it I love black and white stripes uh, pink and the soft teal color so it's a very fun collection I am using a binder that I picked up at Michael's a long time ago and it was like a Christmas binder and it was on sale it was for a dollar and so I basically just reused that and then I am using my laminator to laminate a lot of the sheets that are inside and I wanted to laminate my sheets that way it's easier to take the embellishments um, the embellishments in and out of the book without damaging the page and also because the paper on this collection was really thick it's just like normal paper it's not it wasn't cardstock so i wanted to reinforce the paper as well so i have some pink uh, rosette trim and some white lace elements from the collection that i fuzzy cut out and also um, laminated and i have some foam dots on the bottom to make it have a little bit of volume and that is this that's that's how it looks like i wanted to keep the back just black and plain and so yeah so now let's take a look on the inside so over here i love this binder that already the binder already came like this with this black and white stripes and i absolutely love it so this is why i wanted to use it it goes with the collection perfectly and so these are some gold stickers that i picked up at joanne's these are flowers from my stash this is also from the collection i also went ahead and laminated her so i created a shaker element here for my binder because i think it's super fun i'm using more of these gold stickers that i love it says love ya <laughs> and there's some hearts some more trimmed so everything kind of goes together and so yeah it was super super fun to make and over here i created some paper rosettes and now these ones are easy to make sometimes it could be time consuming because i do mine from scratch like scoring i don't have a die uh, but there are some dies out there too that make it a lot easier but um, they're super easy to make so i have some eyelash trimming here and then like i say i added everything using foam dots so it's really easy to take in and out of the of the uh, page the page is laminated so yeah so it will be super easy to remove those rosettes and then after she takes all, all the embellishments then we can use this book maybe as a mini album um over here i have some pom-pom trim i really love this trim here and the paper is just super cute and adorable so let me show you the next page over here love the paper so the paper is not double-sided i basically just glue it back to back together and then i laminated it here i made some um clips paper clips and i just used more of these little girls these girls were um just from one sheet of the collection and this one's here so i cut them out individually and then i laminated it as well and then use them throughout the book as you know as embellishments it's super cute this again also from the collection and these are from that set of gold stickers some different trims that i have i made these envelopes using the collection as well and i do go through how i made that as well on the um, on the tutorial video um here i'm just closing this with some washi tape and on the inside all i put in here just some paper doilies on black, black, pink, and white that matches um, the colors that I'm using. This page, I wanted to embellish it, so if she keeps this as a mini album, she has something already embellished, but she can also remove these pieces that are just added with some foam tape in there. So again, different images from the collection, everything was laminated. These paper clips here already came like that. They were uh, from my stash, and the colors match 
everything so i love them i put them here and see you have some foam tape in there so it's super easy to take in and out some bling up in here on the top looks super cute super girly on this page all i did was just add this little flower trim on the top and just some um, different bling embellishment pieces that I just added with double-sided tape so again super easy to take out and then something that she can use this little girl is so cute over here with her hat and super simple these were from the same all this all the gold stickers were from the same set and then just added some eyelash trim and that image and then on this envelope I added uh, different girls that she can use here to embellish uh, make her own embellishments or you know if she adds pictures to the book after she takes out everything then she can put these cute girls around the pictures i think they'll be super cute so i have some extras in there and they're all laminated um and then yeah the envelopes i think they turn out adorable and i wanted to make my own envelopes so they match the collection instead of using um you know envelopes that were made already more pom-pom trip trim up here these flowers were already made like that so i just took them out of the package and put them in here and the flowers already came with this um foam tape so yeah super easy to remove look at the papers and it's super cute okay so then the next page i use some of my scrap pieces of paper to create this um these are like bookmarks and let me just take one out i just added it here with some double-sided tape and then look how cute is the back well then she had to remove the tape here before using it but i just love the paper super super cute i added some eyelash trim on the top and some flowers and then on this page i made some um back toppers and i didn't want to glue the back toppers straight onto this page because i didn't want to ruin the cardstock they're so cute super simple to make also um so i just added this little plastic bag and i added the bag so it kind of can be like a little pocket in here so she can take the bag out after she's done using that and then some black trim on the top and then on the last page i just wanted to add some more stickers so she can use and there you go that's how that looks like love the paper again and then i'm just leaving this plain because i i just love the black and white stripes and so yeah so that is my binder mail i hope that you guys like it and are inspired to make your own and yeah i love it so, so i want to thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye